Hello everybody, Linda AK the Gamer Girl here. This is the Glitchy Gamer Podcast, the podcast that glitches onto the channel every now and then. I have a special guest with me today. It is Dizzy the Gamer Jit, aka the Game Trap. I can't figure out how many characters he's gonna figure out. What's up, Dizzy? Hey Linda, glad to be here. I'm glad everything's working out and we're able to get this podcast up and running. It, the subjects are great and I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Thank you for joining me. So the two topics are going to be PS4 internal battery. We just found out that something's going on with the PS4. There's an internal battery issue. And the second one is going to be life, marriage, and YouTube. How do we balance it? And hopefully maybe us discussing it will bring up some more discussions and maybe help you and your whatever is going on with your life. I am not uh, Dr. Phil, but hey, we are two people who are married and YouTubers, and maybe we can shed some light on some stuff. So we'll start off with the first topic. And Spawn Wave had introduced something that had been an error message that had popped up on several people's feeds, several people's TVs. And he just went and did an experiment where he took out the internal battery. After that, tried to connect and play a game that wasn't at all needing online play and then after figuring that out he realized you have to connect to the internet in order to keep playing because for some weird reason the error the message that popped up it was basically saying you have to connect your trophies in order to continue so just want to get your thoughts on that dizzy that now that these modern consoles seem to be having some issues where you have to connect to an internet what happens if we don't have the internet anymore or servers for the PS4 or anything like that. Now that you know that, would you buy any more modern consoles? Would you keep going with that? Sony, Sony. Sony's supposed to be so up to date with what they're doing. This is like this is like Super Nin- uh Super Nintendo and the battery going out on the cartridge. Mm-hmm. That's something they should have had they should have been thinking years ahead of time to know that this isn't a good idea. I mean, batteries, they sh- they should, that should be obsolete in a modern day console. Uh, there's no reason to have it because you know it's going to go out eventually. The battery is never going to last long. Like I say, we had that problem with the, you know, the saving the games on the cartridges back in the day. Hmm. Once that battery goes out and you never really want to mess with it where you're opening up the cartridges and putting a new battery in, you can do it, but, you know, it takes away from the cartridge. You know, if, if you do that to the console, who knows? You might end up damaging the console. It may never work again. I had a situation with that on the PlayStation 2. Just opening it up to dust it out. You know, it fell on the ground and then it never worked again. Ow. So I don't want to do that to a PS4. Yeah. You know, and, you know, who are you going to send it out to? A, a, an electronic store? Are you going to send it back to Sony so they can fix it and return it? It's just, it sounds like. These are modern day problems that we shouldn't even be encountering. They should have fixed that a long time ago. Well, and like you said, again, Wi-Fi, we might not even have Wi-Fi yeah. or internet in the future. You know, I'm, I'm a retro collector. Some of my consoles are from the 80s. That's about, what, 30, 40 years? Yeah. In the future, the, we're not going to have Wi-Fi. There's going to be something new. There might not even be a place, you know, to, to plug it in externally. So... Sony needs to get their stuff together. They should have been thought of a way for this not to happen in the future. Batteries for modern day consoles should be obsolete. There should be a way in there to where you plug it in and it keeps everything running. Uh, batteries, it's just not good. Battery and and uh, in the long run, the batteries yeah. go bad. Mm-hmm. They might leak, explode, mess up the console. That should be something obsolete. Sony needs to get it together. And just fix that problem. Uh, Ten years in the future, we're not going to be wanting batteries in the Sony consoles anymore. So they didn't need to fix that. Well, and also they didn't even tell us about that. They didn't even say didn't like, work. hey, make sure that you check your internal battery. Because that could have been a Model 1 issue. And we don't even know. Is it on the all slims and the pros and everything else that is connected in the PS4 family? Because when I saw this, it was had to be a YouTuber who some people messaged them right. and said, hey, I'm getting this error message. Are you? Do you know anything about it? And when you see it, it says to call them and to have you send in the PS4. But what if I, I don't have the money to ship it out? 
nor do I have the yeah, money to fix it. I'm going to go to a game store on the side. And what if they don't even know about that? Like, it seems like not many people know about this PS4 internal battery issue. And when they do see the error message, you have to look in there. And it did say to the, the Sony, like I looked it up, it does say, yeah, you have to contact us. But it doesn't tell you what the issue is or why there's an issue or what to do, how to fix it. What if Sony stops worrying about PS4s one day and they're not going to have you be able to bring it in? They're not going to want to like take care of it anymore? Because if you call Nintendo right now, they're not going to want to mess with the NES. They're not going to want to touch right. that. They're not doing that anymore. They're only dealing with the Switches and 3DSs. And so after a certain point, it's like, well, I got to not rely on you as much. I have to worry about that. And then what if I can't connect to internet anymore? Like, I don't have the money to pay for internet. Not just say it's no longer there. There's a new system, a new setup for internet Wi-Fi. What if I can't afford it anymore? Like, say I'm just broke. Then what? Like, I can't connect my PS4 to the servers anymore. And I have an issue. And I just... And I did a DIY myself and watched this video and figured out how to put the new battery in and do everything I need to do. I can't connect it. So even if I fix the issue with the battery, then the next thing that oh. happens is like, oh, I can't do it. I can't worry about it. Like, man, I am. I have to go take my PS4, lug it to some like store, connect it to the Wi-Fi, hope that it connects, hope that it works. Oh, wait, there's 99 hours. I'm stuck here for 99 hours. I'm not going to wait 99 hours for some horrible Wi-Fi to let my stuff work. Like, that. come on, Sony. Don't be doing this to me. Don't be telling me that I have to, like, connect to the internet right after fixing the battery. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I would have I would have not been so gung-ho to, like, buying all these physical games, you know? That's another thing. We're like, oh, physical, 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 physical. It's like, I can't even play a physical game on the modern console anymore now if my internet were to go kaboot. It goes bye-bye. So, I don't know. I have no idea what to do with that anymore. So... If if yeah, you were bad. to do that, you would have to think about it. Like now, I'm I'm hesitant to want to buy the PS5. You know, I'm I'm waiting yeah. for the new slim version, but hmm, not every single yeah, PS4 who knows game. If there's gonna be issues with the PS5. Yeah, like that's another thing. Is you there know, internal there might battery be in there? In the PS5, yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. Is there a battery in that one? Is there something else that we need to worry about that we might have to overtime? You know, now there's maintenance on the console. I've never heard of that. Mm -hmm. That's basically PS4 maintenance. You're either going to have to switch the battery out or you're going to have to take care of the battery. But like you said, even if you fix the battery issue, it may not even connect to the internet once that battery goes out. So that makes me second guess wanting to buy a PS4 or wanting to buy a PS5 modern day console. Yeah. You know, we're always thinking, you know, let's collect the retro because it's like, it's like a VCR. You could always just pop it in. It's going to play. But now you, you see there's modern issues that you have to deal with the maintenance. You're going to have to, you know, possibly call PS4, send the console out, keep taking care of it. You know, I just want to pop a game in and play. You well, know, now at, at least with a VHS or, or a CRT or anything like that, you don't have to worry about connecting to the Internet. You automatically yeah. fix it, find the part or have an electrician or somebody who tinkers with things fix it for you. With mm -hmm. this issue, even when you pay for the battery and fix it, you don't connect it to the internet. It's yeah, done. Wow. It's completely done. It's like now I'm stuck with the system that I got fixed, paid probably a hundred bucks to get it fixed because it doesn't sound like those batteries are easily available, you know, to like get fixed because not everybody's going to go through and take out the motherboard and figure out where to put everything and do all that stuff. So it's going to be a retro store or somebody who actually is a modder and fixes everything for the consoles but i don't know i i would be iffy if i wouldn't say like yeah i'm definitely worried about this in the future because for me i'm a retro gamer and i have you know all these systems that i, I can fix them i can go take them to somebody they'll solder they'll fix whatever they need to fix and then at the end of the day i don't have to worry about it yeah the ps2 may be connected to the internet but it wasn't the sole end all be all yeah. you don't have to worry about it you didn't connect to the internet you just didn't play certain games. Certain games, the servers can disconnected. That was one less game you played. We're we're getting to the point where we have so many issues with other stuff, not just the internet. That that's to add on to the the craziness that's going on with that console. It's like, whoo! I don't know. I don't know if I want a yeah, PS Five yet. Second guess. 
Mm-hmm. It makes me second guess even, you know, buying a, a digital or physical, any type of library for the console. I'm not going to want to buy 100 games digitally on that console if it's not even going to work in five years. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that I, like I said, I'm thinking about it now, I'm not, not even going to the PS4. I was thinking of getting a PS3, but now PS4, now that I know about that issue, there's no way I'm going to be buying digital games for that console. Well, PS3 yeah, was on that issue about they were going to shut down the store for a minute, and then everybody had a really big fit about it. And then Sony went, sorry, uh, I'm backing up. I'm not going to do that. And then they're like, okay, we're going to have the store. But even then, you don't know. Because if you were to buy digitally, and you're like, oh, I'm set. It's okay. The physical games, no worries. Like, it's just digital. I won't connect it to the internet. If the battery goes out on that, and you can't reconnect it, those digital games don't even worry about it. Because that's what I used to do for my Xbox 360. After they digitally took out all these games that I couldn't get anymore, I stopped connecting certain systems because I was afraid that they were going to take out games. And now I'm like, well, then I can't do that either. Like, I have to stay connected to the internet. And yeah. so they can go in and, and mess with the license and take out games automatically. I'm like, yeah. shoot, I can't do that. Because, like, if I have, I have a bunch of digital games that I'm afraid that if I stay connected to it all the time, 24-7, that it's going to be taken out. But now it's like, yeah. well, I eventually have to kick it into the internet and hope that they don't take out those games and that the license is still there. So it's like, ooh, crossing my fingers, and it makes me, like, yeah. ooh, sweat bullets for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's another thing. Even the license is expiring in a few years, and those, them taking those games off digitally, it's like, well, what's the point of paying full price yeah. If I'm not even going to have the game in a few years. Yeah. I think that's why us retro collectors like our old consoles because we can always pop that game in and I could always get my game, pop it in my friend's system and it's going to work. With the modern day consoles, you might not even be able to pop your, you know, PS5 co- game into somebody else's console and it works. There's all these different modern issues that are going on that I don't know, it's just making me stay retro it's making me stick to the old school not yeah try to mess with these new consoles eventually i'm gonna want to there's gonna be games that come out that i'm gonna want to uh play on a modern console but i'm thinking now somebody's eventually gonna have to come up with the old school well a console that at least is backwards compatible maybe with sony games you know how they have the retron 5 and those that can play any type of cart Maybe somebody in the future is going to have a... Well, I think there might be one in the future where... Yeah, like a Blu-ray player could, that plays games. Yeah. yeah, they could play maybe any type of CD. Sega CD, Xbox, PS3. You know, maybe somebody comes out with that in the future. But that might take care of that issue. You know, if, if you come out... Somebody comes out with a console that's going to play any type of Sony disc, you know, maybe it won't have that issue where the battery goes out or they'll be able to fix that issue in their you know, modern console, but we'll just have to see over time. Uh, but with that news you gave me, I, I don't know about the PS4. It's just making me think that PS3 might be the last Sony console I get. Yeah. You know, that That's not going to be fun because there's no way I could collect for that. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing about us. We're all about collecting the, the yeah. digital look, or look, physical. Look at behind us but, always on our videos. Exactly. <laughs> you know, movies and games, but... There's no way I'm going to buy a hundred different games yeah. if they're not going to work in a few years. That's like wasting my money. Mm-hmm. So in that case, I might as well just, you know, bootleg the games and burn them on a disc and play them. You know, if it comes <laughs> down to that. Oh, at least man. I know I'll have that bootleg disc forever, you know? Yeah. I'll have well, that burn disc for a couple years. We'll see what happens with that in the future, but yeah. hopefully... That's bad news. We we uh we get some good news like Sony sees that video and goes well snap they figured it out now, and they give us you know like a, a like alternative method of like well you don't have to connect anymore with your trophies and everything like that because I was surprised by it to hear that because when I connected my trophies I sometimes didn't have to worry about it it was just like it saved to that console so I thought like internally it'd be okay and you just have an external like hard drive and just pop everything in. But even then, that external hard drive doesn't connect the trophies. You have to in, in like go on and connect it to the internet. So we will see in the future with the PS5 because I'm going to wait a couple yeah. years for sure now because I have a oh, PC yeah. and I play Xbox games on my PC and my Xbox 360. I play all of those games now. So I have no idea, man. We'll have to wait for the future on that one. Yeah. 
but we'll we'll yeah, we'll, we'll leave that one alone for a little bit because it seems like we can talk about that for hours. But oh. we'll we'll go on to the next no. one, which is kind of like you know also collecting and everything like that. As a YouTuber slash video game collector and being married, it's like where's the fine line of like I can just go buy it, it's my own money, and then. Now you have your spouse, you have your kids, you have life, you have family, you have to worry about everything. So when you we were dating, did uh, like you know dating JoJo and is like, but you became one. Like, did you have a discussion about like how much to collect? What is your budget? Like, when do you go and tell her like, hey, I'm gonna go buy this. Am I gonna go do this? Like, when did you have that discussion? Was it like when you started dating? When you were like serious, or when you got married, when did you go? Hmm, that's when I'm gonna tell her or something. When we first started, yeah, when we first started dating, all of that came into play. You know, I I would watch all the physical movies I had with her DVDs, so she already saw the small collection I had. I had, you know, a bunch of VHS tapes, and that would that was fun for us. You know, that would be our dating, just watching the movies together, having fun. I had an N64. We would play that all the time. Yeah. So that's how I got good on Mario Kart. <laughs> was playing against her. You know, sometimes you'll see her say, "Hey, she always beat me on the game." Yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta let the you gotta let her win, make her think she's winning. But we play <laughs> all that stuff. You know, we play the video games, watch the movies. I did, yeah. I had a small collection myself, but I I really didn't get into the collecting until we were. I think we were already married and we found out uh, she was pregnant with Melody. Mm. So that's when I more got into the collecting. Uh, and it started with the the records, the vinyl records. I'd see yeah. that, you know, this is something they're not going to have around much in the future. And if my daughter has these vinyl records and she plays them, you know, she'll be keeping that alive. I'm all about the old school. She's, she keeps that alive. Mm. And if she's able to learn how to respect, you know, something old and fragile and take care of it, it's just like anything. It's like, you know, respecting or taking care of an older grandparent or something. You know, it's more fragile. You got to be careful with it. You got to respect it. So I knew in the future she'd be able to do that. And she'd be the coolest kid around if she has a vinyl collection, you know. So it was right around that time we found out she was pregnant. I went to, we would go to the different thrift stores and I'd see some records I liked. I'm like, this would be pretty cool for for my little girl to have when she gets older. Yeah. And the same thing with like um I started collecting books for her. She, she has a, a huge library of books. Just thinking about the future, you know, she'll love these Dr. Seuss books. You know, I'll be able to read them with her. So, it the collecting all started then, you know, so it's been about 7 years yeah. uh, collecting all these movies and stuff. But it's just another way to keep, you know, to keep me grounded at the house. You know, you know, staying away from, you know, being places you don't have to be. To be at home with the family. I got mm. movies. I got music. I got all the entertainment here. And it's always fun. You know, any of these retro consoles I could throw on and me and the whole family are having fun. Well, Melody's was JoJo, right there, did, you, did you talk about gaming at all? Did she, she say she was a gamer when you first met? She, well, I think she was playing... Uh, the xbox 360 or one of the first xboxes when we uh started going out uh-huh. i wasn't really into that that's really yeah. what she was into she liked the um the zombie killing games and stuff like that <laughs> yeah and those are the games like i'm more into the retro old school so mm-hmm. th- those games just weren't my thing because i like the games where you you know you, you even with the platform where you know you you jump on goombas and at the end you get to the end screen yeah where the zombies ones you're just killing zombies trying to get the highest score and that wasn't really my thing you know we play together but i'm not good at those games she would be awesome at those games she was great at those games yeah mine was more nintendo 64 you know Mm, yeah golden eye mario kart multiplayer and that's a lot of the fun we had when we first started dating was the multiplayer games or if we had friends over i had four controllers out and we'd all be playing Okay. So we love doing that. So that's, that's the thing we first started doing. So you knew she was a gamer. So kind of like you were yin and oh, yang my. of like modern meets retro. And yeah. you kind of knew like right off the bat, like, hey, she's cool with me gaming. It's not going to be a big deal. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's never a big deal. This is a quote I got from 
it was um the rapper Ice T and his wife because he's a gamer too. He's a yeah. big gamer, mm -hmm. and he said he said you know his wife doesn't get mad at him when he games because at least she knows where he's at, <laughs> you know. And it's the truth. You yeah. know, I'm here at the house. I'm not out there doing anything crazy. Yeah. So the gaming, there's never a problem with it. Plus, yeah. I get the whole family involved. My daughter comes, we co-op, or my wife will be there watching us as we game, you know, when she gets in on the action. So a lot of the games we have that I love the most are multiplayer games. Mm -hmm. um, 64, Nintendo Switch, the Modern Console, we got a bunch of multiplayer games on there. So we're always having fun, you know, always. So, so there never was a problem, and yeah. I don't think there will be. I think she knows now that gaming is a huge part of my life and now a lot of a big part of my daughter's life melody she's mm -hmm. she's gaming she's having fun with it and it's not like i said this before i don't just let my daughter game all day yeah she gets her studies done she gets super grades at school and then you know as a reward she gets to play these games mm -hmm. so it's a way for us to to keep her you know educated as well i know she's gonna want to play those games so you know read me one book read me two books a couple chapters show me that you're still you're staying up on your reading and then you know we could play games all night you know buy some pizza have play some games at night yeah as long as you're getting educated and show me you're doing great in school mm -hmm. i don't have a problem with the gaming yeah so it's it's all a part of the family life here is the gaming you know but not to a point where we're just gaming all day not doing anything not getting anything else done yeah you know usually I'm always doing something, getting stuff done at the house. So gaming for me, I'm I'm not, I'm not as big as a gamer as my daughter is now. You know, usually when I'm gaming, you see me on stream. I'm streaming. That's yeah. when I'm gaming. Mm -hmm. um, unless I'm gaming with Melody, I'm usually not gaming alone. You know, if I'm playing a game on stream, that's my first time playing it. And, you know, that might be the only time I'm gaming during the week is that time, unless it's with Melody. Yeah. So, so... gaming is, it's just... I get a little bit of gaming on every okay. now and then, but it's more of a family thing. But it, like, what at what point does it say like we need to ask each other about buying a game? Like, what price point is it? Like, okay, I gotta I gotta ask her. I'd say nowadays my my wife usually knows what what would be good to buy, mm -hmm. and she's with there there with me. So it's basically when we're at the store. You know what I mean? If we're going to buy this one thing that costs this much, let's put these two away, stuff like that. Yeah. But usually when I am I get games out in the wild, it's at a thrift store and they don't cost too much money. Mm -hmm. So there's usually never a problem with that. You know, if it's a game for Melody, hey, you know, it's a modern game. game it's going to cost about 40, 50 bucks at Walmart. Yeah. You know, if she's doing great in her school, you know, let's treat her with this at the end of the week. So... The, the money issue hasn't really been a problem with us. I know there's a lot of people that they have like a set price on what they can spend during the week. Mm -hmm. We never really go too far overboard where anything costs too much. So we never really get to that place where we got to, you know, uh, budget anything. Mm -hmm. Usually if I get games, it's just a couple of dollars and it's every now and then. I do a lot of eBay ordering and Amazon for my games. So yeah. You know, you can put the price right there, you know, anything under $10, you know, price it out and you'll get the games under $10. So, you know, you're not spending too much money. But I haven't got to that point where we're, I'll be honest with you, JoJo just bought the complete Naruto DVD set. Yeah. She didn't ask me, you know, she got it home. <laughs> That's so, not my thing. But so, I okay. So it's just it, basically, you know? hey, I got this, babe. It's over here. And then you're like, oh, snap. And you both are like so excited about it. You're like, heck yeah. <laughs> well, with us, we know in the future, it's all going to be my daughter's enemies. It's oh, going to okay. be Melody's collections in the future. So so that's your main motivation is everything that you buy eventually will be your kids. Yeah, she's going to be the coolest kid in the world with all these collections. <laughs> so so it doesn't really matter to us. Yeah. You know, like I said, I don't get too much gaming in. If I do buy a game, eventually it's my daughter's. So, yeah. So that, that helps us. And yeah. we never go, we don't ever look for anything too pricey. Like there may be some stuff I want in the collection. Yeah. I'll wait till it's on sale. You know, the Ring Fit Adventure for Melody, we waited till we saw it discounted at Walmart and got it. Yeah. You know, so if, if the price looks too crazy, 
I'm not going to go right out and buy it. I'm going to wait a little bit. It might even be a year. You know, the PlayStation 5, I might have to wait two years or three years before the price is good enough to where I'll buy it. But with that, again, I'm like you. I want the second edition to where these fix they fix all the problems. Yeah. I'm not going to run out and spend five to eight hundred dollars if they gouge the price mm. to get a console that's not yeah. going to be working for me you know as good as it should be so i'll wait for the second edition once i know the price is going to be lower yeah eventually in a few, a few years they're going to be at the pawn shops you know somebody's going to be pawning them so yeah i'll wait on that stuff I, I don't have to get too crazy with buying stuff nowadays you know yeah. if it's on ebay for the right price i'll get it if it's not i'll wait until i find the right price to get it well, for me, um, I do I do have like a set budget, and that's just something that me and Reggie discussed. We just decided we're gonna have to set just like I usually uh, have a budget of like a hundred bucks, and I can spend it on whatever I want to spend it on. Same thing for Reggie, hundred bucks. So that's two hundred dollars total. Now, at any point, if I'm gonna buy something and it's gonna be for down the line in the future, but it's technically, you know, like on that gray area of like it's not on my hundred for this week but technically i'm spending it for this week but it's gonna be for a next week that i'm not gonna use that money for i'll i'll just mm-hmm. go okay i got this i'm gonna get this and i will either text or i'll just go up and be like this is what i'm getting this is how, how much it's gonna be and even though reggie says i'm cool with that i'm okay i don't mind you know i still want to make sure that i i'm communicating that because it's our it's our money it's mm-hmm. shared money and I don't want to say to the effect of like, it's okay. It's not. It's, nobody reads my mind. <laughs> Nobody's a mind reader. I want to make well, sure that there's clear there's communication, communication on that. There. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's so, the thing about it. The communication is there. And yeah. there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of respect right there mm-hmm. where you're not going to buy nothing crazy if you know that person is going to get upset about the price. Well, it's not that. You know, the communication is key right there. Yeah, it's not that. You know, like, we'll get it upset with each other if something were to happen. It's more like, I want to make sure that for budget-wise, you know, I don't go, like, say there's there's this amount of money in the bank account. I don't want to overspend. And then we're, we're having, like, overdraft yeah. fees and everything like that. It's also, I want to make sure that we don't have overdraft fees at the end of the day. Because oh, yeah. we both have the same bank account. We're both using the same card. It's like... Mm, I want to tell you that, you know, I, I spent 50 bucks on this game so that that $50 doesn't get taken away at the end of the day. And you go, where'd it go? <laughs> you know? So it's, it's yeah. kind of like a mutual respect and also like to make sure that our finances stay good because at the end of the day, it's our money. But what if something were to happen and miscommunication has happened in the past where I've, I forgot to say something and then I'm like, hmm why is it negative <laughs> and it's like now we got to have an open communication i just automatically just say yeah this is for this we can't spend this we can't do this and if we do we have to make sure that we the next paycheck whenever that goes in that's not going to be spent so it's like down the line down the road and everything like that so it's also like make sure that i as you know like i'm a gamer i do know i'm compulsive i don't know if you are there's at some point where i'm like do I really need that second controller for that game system that already have four other controllers and I'm buying this controller for whatever. So it's like, I kind of have to like set boundaries on myself too. Cause I found that out. Like I will just keep buying. If I see something, I'm like, Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is good. Ooh, this is good. And it's like, yeah, I got to set a limit. And for me, when I started dating Reggie, I didn't know at all if she was going to be a gamer or not. And I was just like, Hmm, let me see. So, what I found out, Hitman is the thing. PlayStation Every... 2? Huh? Was it a PlayStation 2 Hitman game? No, it was Xbox 360. Oh. You know, good, um, what was it? It was the, not Blood Money. It was, uh, Affliction or, fl- I can't remember what it was called. It started with an A. And I remember... We were at somebody's house. I think it was Reggie's family's house. I can't remember who it was. It was either aunt, uncle, something like that. And I'm over there playing and there is cousins and everybody just chilling and playing a game. And Reggie pulls out the console and is like, hey, let's play. And I'm like, wait, 
where's this Xbox 360? What? <laughs> and so just that like oh moment happened. And I'm like, you're into Hitman, and just the pure joy because like no other game, like no other game in the consoles, no other game in anything like that will. You know, I, I'll say, hey, you want to play this platformer? Nothing. Nothing at all. But the minute I say Hitman, oh, the new Hitman came out? When? Where? <laughs> what system? I'm like, thankfully it's on PS4. Yay! And so, even with the PS4 being laggy, we still sit together and play that. But there's some things that I know, like, the minute I say, hey, let's, let's play uh, Last of Us 2, I think it's just because it looks like a movie. Is what gets the tension flowing of like, hey, let's play Last of Us 2. And then like the cinematic part and like the cutscenes and everything like that. Oh, yeah. But it's not like hardcore gamer in our household for like everything. So like when we when we have certain games, I'm like, these are the games I'm going to play. And then other games are set aside like that are like out in the like living room for like just for both of us to play. So because I'm like, I know this mm-hmm. is going to be something that Reggie want to play. This is something that I'm going to want to play. So at the end of the day, we're like, okay, this is what's going to happen. But for me, I also make sure that I do spend time, you know, out of the out of the gaming like you, where I don't want to game all the time. I want to spend time, you know, keep make sure that we're not just ignoring each other. That's another thing, too. With internet, with everything going on, it's like you could get lost in a game, not realize, look at the watch and be like, whoa, I just played for five hours and didn't even notice and this was not uh, this was not planned, you know. So it's like at that point, I'll just like pause the game, save it, and then just like go see where everybody is, see where the dogs are, and everything like that. And then I realized my poor dogs <laughs> have not played for five hours. And so then I kind of like I feel guilty. So then I'm like, oh, I gotta go play with Elvis and Prince and go see what they're doing. So then it's like I want to make sure that I give more quality time to them. So I've played less now. You know, when I was younger, I could just sit there for hours and play. And it's like, now oh, yeah, I'm like, mm, no, I'll I'll just play for a couple hours and then I'll go say hi to them. Go give them some love and let's go walk. Let's go do something. So I kind of get that feel of like gaming is not as essential as it used to be in my life. And I don't know if it's because of marriage or if it's because of dogs or, you know, because when I was single by myself, I would just play, just play. And I don't know if it was because yeah. I was bored or if it was because I didn't have anybody else to chill with. And yes, I did have my family because I was in Colorado and just with my family. But I just felt like, hmm, I had my cat. I had everything and I was just chilling. And I'm like, hmm, okay, like, I'll play. I'll finish this game. Like I would finish games in days, like a couple days. Wow. So I would just be like sitting there and I'd be like, hmm, 10 hours. Okay, I played that game. <laughs> And not even realize. I think it's being an adult now. Like adulthood yeah. kicks in yeah. and responsibility kicks in. I know that's what it is with me. And I see time a lot more valuable now than I did before. Yeah. To where it's like, all right, I'm off of work. I only have four hours before I got to get to bed. Let me see how much stuff I can do in those four hours. I got to get time in there with my daughter. Definitely got to get time in with my wife. I need to, you know, of course, a couple of times with my friends on YouTube, give them support, you mm-hmm. know, and and all this is done in a matter of, like I said, four or five hours. So, yeah, it's 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 a lot of that. I You know, like you said, you're gaming for five hours. If I game for five hours and there's nothing else in my time span that I could do. Yeah. So a lot of it now, I, I understand. I feel the same way you do. It's adulthood kicking in to where when I was younger. I wasn't really thinking about that. It's just like, wow, I'll just kill these five hours. The game might have been more important in my life at that time. You know, being single, the game might have been, man, I got to get this game done, man. I got to see what happens at the end to where now, like, that's not as important to me. Yeah. You know, spending time with my daughter and my wife is more important with me. So it's a lot of that same stuff. You know, I, I see now, like, I'm the same as you. We both have jobs, so after work there's just a little bit of time we have yeah. even on the weekend for get for us to get all this stuff done you know we definitely want to show support to our friends out there and spend time with our loved ones so all that stuff together you know i'm constantly i'm constantly checking on time you know there's times when i'm counting the seconds you know you know i'm yeah. counting the seconds i only got 10 minutes to do this i'm counting the seconds as i'm doing this to try to get stuff done 
you know, and it's it's just adulthood kicking in. Even in the morning when I'm getting ready to work, I don't even have five te- seconds to change my socks inside out, man. They're go- <laughs> they're going on how they go. If that's how I grab the sock, it's going on my foot like that. Yeah, I don't have ten seconds to even change my socks. So it's a lot of that. You know, we we both have jobs, so I kind of have to work the YouTube stuff in around those couple hours yeah. that I have. So with me, you notice there's no set times on any of my streams or anything. Whenever I have time, you know, I'll get it done. Uh, with me, it's not even just my channel. I'm working on my daughter's channel, Melody. Mm, yeah. But it's a lot of, it's a family thing. You know, my jo- my wife, Jojo, she's always in the background helping out. You might yeah. not see her in front of the camera too much. No, I, I hear her in the background always sometimes. She doesn't realize can, I can hear her. <laughs> you can hear her talking in the background. Yeah. She helped me set up cameras and mics. You know, she helped take those crazy pictures the other oh, night. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Thumbnails. <laughs> so, and she was giving me all those ideas. So, yeah. She helps me a lot in that way. Yeah. She, you know, she's like Reggie, too. I could be like the too. up here. Yeah, she's yeah, like Reggie, exactly. too. Mm-hmm. Where, I could be the entertainment yeah. up here, but I need somebody to help me do that stuff, too. So she helps, and I'm glad she does. You know, yeah. I, probably, I probably wouldn't be able to get it done myself. Yeah, like, say she wanted to join the channel. Would you rebrand and, and fix it, or would you keep it the same as you had it and just have her on there? Like... That's a good what question. Would you do? That's a really good question because for the most part, you know, I don't take my channel too seriously. Mm. I'm just doing crazy stuff, trying to entertain people, hopefully get some followers on my channel that I could, you know, remove to my daughter's channel and try to blow her channel up, you know, or they can get their family members and kids to join my daughter's channel. So whatever makes my channel, you know, a little bit more popular to where I could get those followers on my daughter's channel is fine with me. Like, you'll see I'll have characters and do funny stuff. You know, at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> there's nothing too consistent on the channel. I'm just doing every little this and that. You know, but that would, you know, I probably would just rebrand it with, with uh, JoJo on it if she wanted to go that route. Yeah. You know, I see Tom and Lacey, they're together. And I've heard Lacey say, you know, when it was just Tom by his, well, I think Tom said it, when it was just him mm-hmm. by himself, yeah. it was a little bit different. But once Lacey came in, they were able to, work off of each other and i see that a lot in their videos yeah. they do that it's it's so funny because like Lacey knows exactly what to do you know whatever he said yeah. she knows what she has to do oh yeah she, she puts him in his place it is so cute <laughs> yeah and it's it's great like yeah that would be awesome you know mm-hmm. if jojo ever wanted to do that we could do it because like i said i, I could be the entertainment i can come up with the ideas and, and you know write something down that's gonna be yeah. funny and if we can work off each other, that'd be great too. You know, but right now she she just likes being in the background. Yeah. She'll help with whatever, but she she likes to be in the background. And that's fine with me. You know, she jumps in the chat a lot of times and you know, I appreciate that. You know, just her coming in here, talking, making friends with us, joining in, making the chat lit, you know, that's pretty much all I ask for when I'm doing my stream. If you want to jump in the chat, make everybody laugh, because that's the same thing I'm doing, you know. But that's up to her. Yeah. You know, rebranding wouldn't be a problem. It's not mm-hmm. like I want this channel just to be for me and it's all about me. Yeah. The channel, I don't take too serious anyhow. So that's no problem. Yeah. Well, for me, I had this discussion with Reggie because I thought about, you know, including, you know, like we'll have a couple thing and do some stuff. And then no, I don't want to do YouTube is what she said. And I was like, okay, you don't want to do YouTube. That's cool. But at any point, same thing. I was like, if you want to join, just let me know. And then you can you can be part of that. And I feel like a lot of people, this, they're too possessive of their YouTube channel. Like, yes, it's a hard work. It's, it's everything you want it to be. But at the end of the day, your channel could go away at any point. I've always said this. YouTube can go away at any point. And that broken relationship, that doesn't go away. No. You know, you, you just hurt somebody's feelings by saying, no, I, I don't think you're good enough to be on my channel. So I always say like, yeah, at any point you want to join or you want to do something and, and it'll be minor things like singing. If I do a, par- a parody, the vocals in the background is sometimes Reggie, just FYI. Like, oh, wow. yeah, nice. like it, it's not me. I don't have a low register. If you have any low notes or any low like points in any of these songs, that's Reggie. That's not me. Cool. There's been times where I've I've had parts 
like harmonies and different things that bad harmonies i'm like you can go as bad as you want i don't care i'm not i'm not being serious either so i've always thought of like anytime i tell you know like i'm like because i feel bad when i have to say like hey can can i film something I, I always ask i don't just say hey i'm gonna film something i need you to be quiet for two hours it's like hey are you cool with me filming i don't want to like take up your time because i also have to think we both work you know it's not like i only work and everything like that we both work it's both of our free time you know that four or five hours in between before we go to bed so i'm taking away some of like the lone time and, and chill time that would be all about Reggie and whatever she wants to do. So it's like, at one point, are we going to be like, eh, I don't, I don't want you to, you know, have your chill time. So it's like, so what I do is whenever I ask for like two hours, I'll give it back. I'll be like, okay, what do you want to do? Hmm. What do you want to do? Like, I just took two hours of your free time. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to cook? Do you want me to do laundry? Do you want me to take over dishes for this time or whatever? And so I'll ask, like, do you want to go to the, you know, casino? Like, whatever you want to do, we'll do that. Like, it's a 50-50 thing of, like, I took some time away. What do you want? Do you want to just chill? Okay, I'll go to the store and you don't have to go to the store. I'll go do some stuff. So it's like a balance of, I feel bad. I don't want to keep saying, hey, can you be quiet for this amount of time without, you know, giving something back because that's precious time that we all want, you know, we're all human and we all want time off. We all want to be able to chill. So anytime I ask, I always be like, okay, I just need like 30 minutes. I need to film something. And even when I get frustrated, you know, I'll get frustrated. Oh, something messed up. The audio messed up. Ah, <laughs> there's Reggie. It's okay. You can do it again. No worries. I'm not going to get mad. So I'm blessed that I have somebody that just like Jojo is, is, very supportive of my channel, still gives me the time, and will say, hey, you need to do a stream? Okay, I'm gonna go chill, I'll go get in a few extra hours of sleep, and I'll come back, and then whenever you're done with your stream, we'll go do stuff. So, on Saturday mornings, Reggie's usually chilling, doing, like, watching a movie, or doing something on the side, and I'm over here streaming, and just playing, having fun with all you guys, and so... At one point, if you were to hear Jojo go, I don't like you doing YouTube anymore, would you just delete your channel? Well, with that, I don't think that would ever happen because she goes beyond support. Yeah. She knows she's the boss. She's, all right, you got this set up. Go and do that for a couple hours. I'm going to be out here taking care of this other stuff. Yeah. So she she wants me to do it. Yeah. With us, it's kind of different because, like I said, at the end of the day, it's more for my daughter's channel. Mm -hmm. So she's going to push me to do this. That way, you know, eventually it rolls over to my daughter's channel. So, yeah. you know, there might be a day where I, I'm already set up and it's like, man, it's getting late. I don't, I'm not feeling it. Man, you know, and that's that might be the extra boost I need. Like her yeah. telling me, go out there and do that. And then it kicks in. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about the family stuff. So I'm going to get this done. That way, hopefully, you know, some other people see my daughter's channel. Yeah. So, if she ever didn't want me to do the YouTube, I mean, right now at this point, I'm not big or anything. I'm just doing it for fun. I'm just doing it for so more people can see my daughter. So, as long as my daughter could have her channel, that's fine. You know, that just gives me more time to work on her channel. Yeah. You know, all, all, all the support and friendships I make here, I try to push over to her channel. And it's been going good. A lot of the friends my daughter has are all the people we know in the retro community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they like the way she's gaming and she's doing modern and retro stuff. So it, it's working out. Um, but if she didn't want me to do this YouTube stuff, it'd be really hard. I'll be honest with you. This is this is a way for me to let myself loose. You know, um, yeah. I don't really talk as much as I do when I'm on stream. I'm more of a quiet, shy person. So this, you know, you see me get crazy and start doing wild stuff, make people laugh. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I like that. I'm able monologue. to let myself out. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm able to let that free <laughs> Yeah. where on the regular, I'd probably be more of a chill person, just relaxing, a little bit quiet. So yeah. that'd be hard. I found YouTube as a way, you know, the friendships I'm making here, I'm, I'm having so much fun with that. I'm meeting great people and 
I'm seeing that I'm entertaining like I think I am. I think that I'm an entertaining, funny person, but it takes other people to laugh and tell me, hey, man, you're really funny for me to believe it and for me to keep going with it. You know, I'm, I'm able to to let the real, like the person inside out, you know. Yeah. So streaming has been great in that sense. You know, I'm able to conversate more about the stuff I like. We're talking about video games. We're talking about movies. And that's the stuff that I'm not able to talk to, you know, on a daily basis with either, you know, people I work with or, you know, people around here. So yeah. the way the Internet is able to connect everybody and we're able to talk to and meet the people, you know, with the same interests as us. This is the great thing about the modern technology. 2021, we're able to do this. You know, you're all the way in Las Vegas. I'm way over here in Florida. You know, we're able to talk about gaming and video consoles and, and all that stuff. VCRs. Nobody cares about that stuff where I'm at anymore. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, CRT so that, hype. <laughs> it, I love it. You know, this yeah. is the stuff I get excited about. You know, that might be a reason I'm able to talk more on stream because this is the stuff that excites me. Yeah. In front of me, you know, behind me, I got all these movies. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a huge set of vinyl records right here. Huge set of DVDs huge set of vhs bunch of vinyl uh funko pops mm -hmm. so i'm all about the collecting and for me to meet p other people out there like me it you know it feels good you know i'm not the only one doing it you know because if i'm over here i'm the only person with vhs tapes everybody looks at me like i'm weird like what the heck what are you looking at vhs really? for that's old school nobody cares about that yeah. stuff so to me, I'm able to branch out and meet more people like me. And that's the fun about it. You know, so for if my wife was ever to say, I don't want you doing YouTube, I would have to find another way to do this, you know, yeah. another place to be able to discuss things like this, which is good on Discord. We get a lot of that stuff done on Discord, yeah. too. Yeah. But, you know, it's all about the friendships I'm making right now on YouTube. I'm not doing it to be a huge YouTuber with millions of views. You know, if that happens, great. I'd love it, you know. But right now, it's just about the friendships and the conversation. You know, I love conversating about this stuff. This is my element. You know, I'm, if I'm at work for 10 hours a day, we're not talking about none of this stuff, you know. If I bring up VHS tapes, it's probably going to say, what? You get what? I, I haven't seen those in years. So this is my outlet, and yeah. I'm loving it so far. I'm, I'm loving it. You know, I'm thinking of, you know, doing more videos, reviews and stuff like that on my channel eventually, but all just for fun. You know, yeah. I don't want to have the most perfect video that everybody's going to love. You know, I'm going to do my video the way I want it, you know, and I'm going to talk about the stuff, you know, and give somebody a perspective on it the way, you know, my perspective is. It may be different from somebody else's, but I'm sure they'll be able to enjoy it. You know, the same way I'd be enjoying watching somebody else's perspective on a review or movie. Yeah. So it's all fun, and I'm loving it so far. I hope she doesn't want me to stop the channel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with her, it was different because yeah. my channel is pretty much new, not even a year old yet to where I started mm -hmm. putting videos out. Yeah. But I've been working on trying to have some YouTube stuff going for about two or three years now. Mm -hmm. So, and this was way before I even knew about streaming. Yeah, I was working on just making videos. I had no idea about the streaming, nothing about that. Yeah, you know, I I I thought in my mind, you had to have about a million followers to be able to stream. Yeah, I didn't know you could just jump on YouTube and start streaming like that. So it took me about two or three years to where I was able to find you know a bunch of my friends now and see how they were streaming, and be able to get hints and pointers on how to do it to where I could get my videos out, Melody's videos out, but. You know, before that, before that, uh, when I first was thinking about doing it about three years ago, you know, my, I think Jojo was thinking about doing a channel, too. But she's more into the makeup scene, you know, so that's the stuff she wanted to be talking about. Yeah. And she has her makeup collection. So all together, we're a family of collectors. You know, she also has Blu-ray collections now that she's working on and Funko Pops. That's her thing. Oh, OK. And she collects makeup. Yeah. So my stuff is more the physical media, you know, old school retro. Hers is more modern makeup and Funko Pops, new collections, you know. But if she's ever, you know, wants to get her makeup channel running, I'm right there to be helping in the background the same she, same way she helps me. Yeah. You know, it's funny, Linda, because 
she's so much in the background that I actually started a rumor that JoJo's not a real person. <laughs> I'm doing this all by myself. I don't know whose chat it was, but me and her were both on the chat. I'm like, hey, somebody. So they think the it's you there. talking in both the somebody, Yeah. <laughs> so I said, I said, hey, somebody put a rumor out there that JoJo's not real. So. Oh no. <laughs> and I think, and and I had this idea, and I wrote it down, and I may do it eventually, to where I have that conversation on video, and yeah. I have like a the camera tied with like fishing string, and I move the camera to the side just to make it look like <laughs> you should I'm gonna you do should okay like i have an idea you should get jojo a cardboard cut out of jojo cut the mouth and then just be like hey honey i'm good how are you today <laughs> something's gonna happen we're gonna come out with something like that i mean i already had the oh, idea no. written down <laughs> i did put the rumor out there that jojo is not a real person it's yeah but me. now it's flooded man but, and everybody's really thinking it you can see how people would think that because yeah. she's never in front of the camera well but she's always there in the chat keeping the chat lit yeah but the one thing is i will say though i have heard her in the background so i know she's real and i've seen photos so it's not like i don't believe I, I couldn't believe that because i've seen photos of jojo i've seen because jojo has a personal account and, and it, some yeah. i follow I think it's both Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. So I, I've seen both. Like, I'll see photos pop up, and I'm like, oh, there's JoJo. I now know who, who JoJo is because if if you don't see the personal accounts, you would never believe that she was real. <laughs> You'd yeah, be like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's right there with two phones doing it, you know? Well, you would just see mean... somebody texting because, like, you would see him on the side going. Yeah. So it'd be, it'd be too weird. I mean... Unless you had Melody pretend to be JoJo, but even then, the 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 lingo and everything like that is so 90s. I'm like, there's no way Melody could pull off that. And even then, you, oh. like, you, there's no way of, like, there's no way you could pull off pretending unless you had a bot. But even then, that's a lot of effort to get somebody that's pretend. It sounds funny, though. It sounds funny to me. Dude, I would like, die laughing if you had a JoJo cutout. In the background, I'm gonna do and something. Well, I'm and, gonna have and, to work this in there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you it know might what? Be a JoJo puppet you remember when Geniuses did a, a a alter ego of of a female cousin? Ingenia, yeah, that? I remember that. Yeah. There's a he Snapchat filter. Yeah, there's a Snapchat filter. Oh, oh I didn't know that's snap. what that was. Yeah, it's like a Snapchat filter with with a uh, the dress. <laughs> so you would have to get. I don't know if you uh, what size you are compared to JoJo. Like as far as like. How, how, uh, like, you would have to get one of her sweatpants and shirts. <laughs> I might have to do that one day. You know, I am i don't mind being silly on the channel. Yeah. Because you know, I don't I'm want you to stretch best... out one of her shirts. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> guys have bigger battle. shoulders. Guys have bigger shoulders. And that's why some, some females buy, uh, shirts that are guys because the shoulders are, like, not as tight right here. So I would, I, I would be cracking up. That day, I'm if that happens, you have to tweet that out beforehand. So I'm there. <laughs> JoJo with the cardboard cutout. I'm here. Hi, it's me. And don't even change your voice. Don't even change oh, your voice. That'd be even right more now. funny. You'd be like, hey, hey, honey. Yeah, what's up? How's it going? I'm good. How are you today? So good. Let's play some video games. And just like that scenario would be I'm gonna on have to point. Do something like that. I'm yeah. going to work the kinks out. The scenario but if would be she on ever point. if she ever wanted to do a channel on makeup, I'd be right there helping out. Yeah. There's no way I wouldn't be. She helps me out so much. <laughs> She's the extra push sometimes if yeah. I don't want to do it. Oh yeah. And, but yeah. sometimes that's all I need is just the extra push and I do it and it goes great. And I'm glad she, she did that because, you know, it's so much fun. The streams is all about the fun right now. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not the best gamer out there. But, but that's not the point, though, bro. Sometimes, sometimes it isn't even that. Sometimes it's being entertaining or funny or raging or whatever. Because there's a lot of streamers on Twitch and YouTube. They're not great gamers, but they make everybody laugh. I'm not. Yeah, oh, I'm not no death running everything. But I'm over there making everybody laugh and have fun. So it's one of those things yeah, where lot, you gotta do that. You just gotta be entertaining. A lot of the friends uh, I chat with on YouTube, I noticed that it's not even about the game. No. It's honestly us just basically Chilling. being there with you. It's, I feel like I'm in the same room with Omega Ace when he's right there gaming. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I might not even be interested in the game, but just the conversation. Same thing with Ingeniuses. If he's on, I know I'm going to laugh. I know I'm going to have a great time. 
it's not even about the game. It's yeah. just about, you know, the entertainment. The guy's funny, you know? Yeah. So I'm hopefully doing the same thing. And that's why I th- do these different characters because it's just about the entertainment. You know, when I was yeah. on the Fifth Element game, I wasn't doing that great. But at the end of the stream, you know, hopefully I was making everybody laugh with my impressions. No, the the, the end monologue got me. I was I'm glad, I'm dying glad. laughing. The end monologue and, was great. And JoJo was against that. Really? JoJo said that was not a good idea. Really? I've been pitching that idea for a couple months already. Since February. Yeah. Since January, I had that idea. Yeah. I was going to make it a whole thing, but hey. So you, so you, you went against her and be like, I'm going to do this one thing. You're going to love I it. I knew it was going to be hilarious. I knew it was going to be funny. <laughs> okay. You know, when I said it to her, what I told yeah. her was going to be, she, ah, I don't want to. Maybe the she delivery knows, was different. Interested. Maybe when you did it, it was the delivery was different. You're like, I'm going to do the inner monologue, and you were just reading. You weren't even doing what you did, which was you paused. You had, like, dramatic effect. You were looking at the camera. Yeah, like I said, I was really entertaining. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to be like that either. I really was just You just to went just into that regular. character, and it was just all one point. point. It, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, that's the thing about it. Like, the YouTube and just the fact that I know my friends are watching – that comes out of me, you know, the entertainment yeah. factor comes out of me and I'm glad, you know, I, I hope I'm not the only one like that. I don't think I am. No, it's me but... too. Like I'll pitch yeah, ideas to here. Reggie and, and sometimes I'll just get that, you know, that look, you're like, really? That look like, really? You're going to do that? Oh man, I've heard it. I've heard <laughs> it. Don't, I don't want to hear about that no, no more. Don't no, tell me about no. none of that. But yeah, like for me, I had this discussion too. I have like, at the end of the day, if at any point it's the channel's not working it's not going it's not flowing i wouldn't delete it but i'd just be like that's the end i'm done i'm not gonna do it anymore it's just it's just the end and it and i'll probably have people that are heard about it but i rather like make sure that everything is good and golden in my house before Definitely. you know because i i love my community and i love everything that i've done but at the end of the day if something were to happen and the love of my life is like, no, nah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. I'll just be done. I'll keep the memories. I'll keep the, the videos for everything. And I'll look back at them and, and I'll smile and laugh, but I won't, I won't go back to it. I won't go back to it. Now, at any point, if Reggie said, Hey, you want to do this again? I would just start a new channel. I would start a new channel. I would work on it and just build that one up again. And then that way it's a fresh start, fresh, new, everything. And I won't have to worry about, like, trying to get everybody back on point and be like, hey, you know, because YouTube is going to mess me up anyway. Like, the minute you stop making your channel and stop doing everything, it's like, it's it's gone. It's over with. Now, if, if something were to happen, like, security, uh, as far as, like, safety and everything like that, then I would delete it. Like, if somebody was threatening to, like, hurt Reggie and, and everything like that, then I'd be like, I'm done. Like, hurt me, I'm done. I don't need this channel. I have everything backed up and saved. So if anything were to happen to my channel, I have all those videos that I wanted to save. I don't have, I don't know how many videos I have on my channel. I don't have all of them, but I have the ones with the clubs and the ones with, you know, the podcasts and the, the travel channel video kind of style videos where I was traveling around the world and all over the U S I'll keep those. I have those saved and backed up and that's all I keep. I'm not going to worry about it because I can make a new channel at the end of the day and this is youtube i'd rather yeah. be chilling with everybody day, and having fun at the end of the day family is always going to be the most important mm-hmm. so you got to worry about that first if at any point my wife you know had something to say about it or she felt like you know i was talking to people that i shouldn't be talking to she's always going to come in and let me know what's going on and yeah. you know respectfully we'll both you know figure it out together yeah. But family is always going to be first. You know, YouTube has to come second. You know, uh, I'm a small YouTuber, not big at all. So yeah. this is not my main job. There's yeah. no way I'm going to put, you know, this stuff, you know, in front of my family first. You know, family's yeah. always in the, you know, and everything else is after that. I kind of work the YouTube stuff around the family life. Like I said, that's why there's no schedule. Mm-hmm. I have a certain yeah. amount of time when I come home after work to get things done. You know, hopefully I get those things, you know, well, hopefully I get the YouTube stuff done and out of the way and then get my family stuff, you know, still going on, you know, till I, before I get to bed. So I work it in there. 
I work it on the weekends, but there's no way I'm going to get, you know, put that stuff in front of the family stuff. You know, yeah. there's times where we need to take a break. You know, it can't always be gaming and streaming. You know, there's a point where, you know, let's take the family out to the zoo. Let's get out for a little bit, get out into nature. You know, we've done a couple streams and those were good. Those were great. So let's get out there, get away from the Internet stuff for just, you know, the weekend, a couple hours. And and that's great. You know, my wife's there. She supports everything I'm doing here. She understands I'm the stuff I'm trying to do with my daughter's channel. And I think because it's a family thing, it's it's a lot easier for me. You know, at, at any point, my wife could talk to me and say, hey, this isn't a good idea. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't think you should be doing this or, you know, this is not where I want this stuff going because we always got to keep it family orientated. Mm -hmm. So I do different characters, but I let people know, look, this is a character. I'm just having fun. This isn't me, you know, and don't take it serious. So at yeah. the end of the day, you know, my wife helps me out and that's what I do. That That's that's the way I'm able to get things done here is just to keep the family involved in it. Mm. You know, if it's something for my daughter's channel, even my wife helps a lot with that. She's always in the background, in the chat, entertaining everybody as we're playing, you know, or she tells, oh, the audio is not good. She'll jump in. <laughs> Video is not good. Yeah. Redo it. Restart mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Or if we're making a video, all right, that wasn't good. Let's take another take. You know, let's let me set the camera at a different angle. <laughs> so it's a family. I said thing. Austin Powers. <laughs> exactly. I was laughing when you said that because that's what it was. Like here, pose. Do this one. Jump on the sofa. <laughs> so I was just seeing. I like. I I opened up the first link for the first video, like first photo up for the thumbnail and i was just like oh normal it was like you just holding the mic and, and a gun and i'm like oh he's hood okay good and the next photo was just like ah and i'm like where was that what was that yeah, and I'm the next one was just like you too. like doing that and i'm like oh my gosh there's jojo in the background being austin powers going no yes no work it no do this that's what it was <laughs> But I'm glad to have somebody that's, that respects what I'm mm -hmm. doing enough to help me out because yeah. I'll be honest with you, I don't think all YouTubers are like that. There's a bunch of other no. YouTubers that their partner is not into it at all. They have a manager and, and everything like that. Yeah, so they might even see it as something like, you know, this is something where you're taking away from our family time. Yeah. But I respect what you were saying, Linda, and I think that was a great idea that you had. You know, if I'm taking two hours to do this, Let's take two hours to do something else yeah. after when I'm done. That was great. I'm going to have to use that too. Yeah. Like I, I sacrificed some time. And I also, Reggie has all my passwords for everything. So if anybody were to ever start a rumor that I'm not cool with about anything, you can look at all my DMs. You can look at anything. I'm an open book. Here. What rumor was it? Where did you see that? What chat did you see that? Oh, they said it there? Here. Here's where, where this is the person I talked to. This is what I said to them. And nothing's edited. Nothing's, you know, filtered out. I even hand the phone. Like, here. Hold the phone. And I have no control over anything at that point. You can look through everything. Like, I'm an open book on that way so that there's no ever doubt to where my YouTube channel is, is considered something that I would be cheating. That's another thing I also think about. Like, I've, I've had rumors started about me about you know somebody that they and they thought it was all all in fun and a joke but just one little rumor can start and then oh yeah are you really dating that person are you really doing this with that person it's like no i'm not i'm i'm married i i am not in any way cheating at all so you can stop with that rumor and i'll squash it and i'll just say like that was funny ha 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 but no uh we, we we're gonna cut that we're gonna nip that you, you're not gonna keep making that joke anymore and at that point, I'll back off with that person. If if Reggie ever says, hey, I don't like this conversation, what's going on, back off a little bit, I will. I will back off 100%. I won't talk as much to that person as far as like, you know, that person's getting a little too, you know, sexual or whatever. I, I just say no. Mm -mm. We're not going to joke about that. The video is not going to be sexualized. I'm not going to be any eye candy for anybody. There's never going to be any doubt about it. It's just, that's how it is. And I've always done that mm -hmm. from day one. From day one, I have always given Reggie full control of everything. Admin, whatever it needs to be, so that 
at any point there's a question or a doubt you can log in on the other side here's my passwords here's everything and i won't even know if you ever, ever have any doubt here you can go you can look and we've never gone to that point because before that even happens before anything happens at all i go hey i saw this this is what happened something stupid happened here's this this is what i said this is what they said and this is what they changed it out to be so it's like trolls will do that and and be stupid and say hey look <laughs> it's like no yeah, right. like really like i'm not gonna ever make it to that point so here you go have a good day <laughs> so uh, i i do yeah, do that way yeah i think it's a respect thing just mm -hmm. being married you have your two partners have to have respect for each other yeah and that's why you guys are able to conversate with each other because if you weren't respecting each other, there wouldn't be a conversation to work it out. It would just be arguing. Yeah. So my, we're the same way. My wife, I'm not saying she has the passwords, but we're all linked together. You know, if you send me a message on Instagram, she's going to get it at the same time I get it. Mm -hmm. And that's fine with me because there's, there's nothing I'm doing that, to where I would need to be secretive <laughs> or anything like that. Yeah. You know, uh, the thing about my channel is, you know, it's, it's connected to my daughter's channel. So there's a lot of female gamers that I talk to. And my daughter talks to and my wife so it and it's a lot of females you know i yeah. think my wife understands that she respects me enough to know that we're not talking about anything crazy i'm not going to go overboard you know we're going to keep it of course fun but respectful of course of my marriage and everything we got going on yeah there's definitely some gamer streamers that she's not going to want me on their channel because yeah they have something else going on with their channel that it's not even really connected to gaming, but it's more connected to something else. Yeah. You know, so I, I I definitely see that. And I talk to the gamers that I know are real gamers. They're gaming for real. They're not putting on the act just to sell stuff on the side. You know, so my wife's there. She knows who I talk to. Yeah. It's all about respect. And I'm glad to have her there sometimes, you know, conversating with us because that's what it's about. It's about the friendships we make. And the friendships my daughter makes. So, you know, as, as long as we're keeping everything good and talking about good stuff and having fun, there shouldn't be any problems with it. You know, yeah. Never would I even take it to a point where it gets out of hand, you know, because I know my wife has everything right there. Same mm -hmm. way, like you were saying, you know, you can go back and check what we're talking about, this and that. You know, there's a lot of times where people add me that I don't know. You know, it's Instagram. A lot of people are trying to network and stuff. Yeah. So I won't even realize that it's a person that has their account connected to other stuff that's not really about gaming. So my wife's yep. going to see that first and she's going to delete them. And then she's going to tell me later, hey, don't talk to this person. I checked yeah. out their profile. So and I don't have a problem with that. You know, no, if anything, yeah. she's keeping our marriage together by doing that. Mm -hmm. Don't even have it to where anybody's going to able to come infiltrate or anything like that. You know, we have a solid respect. You know, my wife respects all you guys out there, too. So it's all about fun. You know, when JoJo's there, we're talking about chanclas and elotes. <laughs> it's fun. You yeah. know, my, my wife might not be on the stream with me, but she's right there chilling with us the same way, you know. Yeah. And it's all about respect. So that, yeah. that keeps us together. You know what I mean? I don't think anybody should be sneaking around or something. But my wife understands exactly who I talk to. And she understands the reason I'm making these friendships, you know, for us and our family. So it it all works out. You know, that that's part of her job as a wife to keep the family safe and not, not let anything come in that's going to bother us. So, like I said, respectfully, I respect that. And that's exactly what I want in a wife. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want a wife that doesn't care enough to go see what I'm doing, because if they don't care what I'm doing, they don't really care about the marriage, you know, so. That shows me that my wife loves me and she respects all the family stuff we got going on. And that's a great, that's a great thing for me. I wouldn't oh, yeah. have it any other way. Yeah. Same thing for me, man. I wouldn't have it any other way. And on that note, I think we can call it. We can wow, say that great. we talked enough to let everybody chime in. And we want to know also, what are your thoughts on, you know, balancing youtube gaming and life in general like we want to have an open discussion have a debate keep it civil in the chat in the comments and everything like that but hey we can disagree on some stuff and still be a community so 
yeah. I'm gonna drop a link to Dizzy's channel. Check him out. I'm gonna drop a link to Melody's channel. Check her out. Yay. They are on both of each other's channels, and you can hear JoJo in the background lurking. It's like Waldo. If she's real. <laughs> if she's real. It's like Waldo. Can you find JoJo in the stream? I'm trying to get you more watch time, Dizzy. Can you find JoJo in the stream in the background? <laughs> so, Search. we will never know if JoJo is real. The only way to find out is if you sub to the channel, we should do that. A certain number of subs, JoJo reveals herself. <laughs> That go. would be hilarious. We get a million subs, JoJo will live stream with me. Oh, One million subs and JoJo's coming in. There's face reveals, just FYI. 100K and I will reveal my face, which Ooh. I find that hilarious. <laughs> so, thank you to everybody who chilled with us and who listened to this discussion. I'm Linda AK, the Gamer Girl. This is Dizzy the Gamer Jet. And we're glitching out. Peace. She Gamer Podcast. Peace. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games.